Uncle Chuck is always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why? Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Pretty dark in here. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing! You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true! I'm going to apply! Interesting. There's a modem number to call. Diggin! 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 Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. Digging in the front green. It's an LFG-1982 tube in perfect condition. It's in here pretty tight. I'd need an LFG-1982 tube puller. Ha! I'll lick to hook them holes! Digging in the front green! Well, that's how far it keeps the stead tidy. Digging in the front green with my rusty shovel! Ha! I'll lick... This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. The fireplace looks very clean. It's a log of firewood. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. 
And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. It's a microwave oven. What a mess. Someone could cut themselves on those bottles. Carefully handling broken glass. Pretty wilted. Who knows how long this has been in here. It's a can of non-trademark infringing poopsie. Looks good enough for a snack. They look pretty old. I think I see mold growing on one. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Hit the spot. Wow. There's nothing inside. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. The glass is now filled with water. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been canceled. I don't want to pick that up. It's a couple of uncanceled stamps. Still... The stamps are back on Chuck's letter. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. It says, out of order. Sick of pillows.
Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea. He's right. He's never even read it. You need more confidence, and stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Why do- No one will miss this out of order sign. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Terrible argument. Here you go, Chucky. Drink up. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer's connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to mucus phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? the language you are most proficient in. Interesting choice. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, what type of files are compiled scripts packed into?
Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Unfortunately, you did not pass. Feel free to study up and take it again. I need to go find a book about mucus programming. I need some help. Gotta find a book on mucus. If only there were a large library nearby. I still get lost after all these years. Feeling my way along. Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. The stamps haven't been cancelled. I think Uncle Chuck is too busy to notice. Pretty dark in here. It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. That's my grandmother, Edith, and her second husband, Charles. I really admire them. That's Uncle Chuck as a young man, with robots on his mind even then. That's my great-grandfather, Edmund Edmund, who was a great industrialist. That's my great-great-grandmother, Lady Edwina. That's my Scottish great-great-great-grandfather, Edgar the Dragonslayer. <laughs> 